Okay, so here's the product. Yes, so this this all um it all hundred percent completely works. So I can now ask for a green library. So with... there's some product level development here. I see it doesn't just answer like any old um a chat agent. It directs you to do some stuff. That's great. Mm -hmm. And then there's yeah. a welcome message here. Uh looks like different modules. Module one, creating 2D art. So this and is scroll down a little bit. Let me see. There are some additional options down here. Yes. Okay, so you can download, you can also upscale it. Okay, that's interesting. Most for most virtual production purposes, we would not need anything higher than um, 8K resolution. Mm -hmm. But this, but this what you're showing me here, this is totally uh, model agnostic. So we could be using stable diffusion or Dolly or uh, Midjourney or any API that we have access to, right? That's correct. So um, module two to convert image into 3D file. Okay. Let's let's give that a shot. All right, generate 3D model. And then okay. I think as as we scale up, it'll become something um more uh more higher quality. Obviously this is this is just very very basic, right? Okay, so yes. you get so you get a video preview um and then you get a a 3D model. A GLB. Yes. So just to yes. be clear, just to be clear, we're talking about um, something that is uh, very basic in in quality at this moment, but this is can be refined further. And this is also model agnostic, um, getting getting these outputs. Uh, so if we find a better model, uh, so if you're out there, you have a better model for 2D image to 3D environment um, conversion, uh, that's something that we'd be open to. Uh, module three is the creation of 3D, uh, I'm sorry, of video assets. So let's take a look at that. Yeah, so right now, whenever you get the, the image, you can pass it with uh, four slash three and it gives you a prompt. So I can say- Do camera do an, uh, camera do a left to right arc shot. Arc shot, yeah. And then when you hit generate video, it starts. Uh, awesome. Okay. So we've got, I mean, very, very, very interesting. So we've got basically, we've got a video, um, a very interesting uh, video shot of this ice cream shop location. You can see that there's persistency between the location that we were looking at before and this video. So that's very nice. So modules one, two, and three seem pretty, pretty straightforward. Uh, let's look at the music one. This, can this ice cream shop create uh, a music for us or do we have to type text in? So I do add text in so that way the song knows what kind of feeling I'm maybe even looking for. And then I add a, a music duration. You just click generate music and it starts creating it. It's almost done. I can see it's almost, done. oh, there it is. Oh, and wait, there, okay, so wait a second. We have something. Is this gonna, is this gonna play properly? Yeah, it actually plays. Uh, I don't know if you can hear it. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. Okay, um, thanks so much uh, for showing us this 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 uh, new version of ARFX Infinite Studio. We're really excited to show people, uh, uh, you know, basically this new vision that we have of, of AI filmmaking. And really it's something that would be, if, if we were, if you were to invent, invent filmmaking today, what would you do? Uh, this is our answer to that question.